sure a lot of people would have told Sushmit that um, how would your music sound like if it was with the piano? So the Sound Company series was an experiment and an opportunity for uh, all of us to come together and uh, create a new sound with the existing music that we had, restructuring it and um, reworking some of the parts based on the guitar and piano um, conversations as I would call it. I won't be able to describe this music. I have not been able to describe this music since the time I started playing music. And when I started playing uh, before Indian Ocean, with Indian Ocean, after Indian Ocean. And um, that has made me come to a conclusion that genres are not for us to uh, define our music. As far as I am concerned, I have never been able to put my music into any genre. And I don't think, I think I've stopped trying. Well, I would say this music is good music. It's in the category of good music. That every musician <laughs> is the same for their own yeah, music. Yeah, but <laughs> I, I think, I think that, um, I'm just being funny. I think that it is very hard to define this music. I think it's a bit of, it has elements of lots of different things. Classical, Indian classical, Western classical. You have little snippets of jazz, you have rhythmic elements brought in by the drums. For a lot of listeners and the ones who are involved in creating this music, it's, it's very flexible and it's open to interpretation, the way you see it. So for me, there are some parts which, are, uh, which, which require probably a, a lot less of drumming but I see it very differently. So I'm free to express myself in those parts um, and it'll still sound nice. I just really want to know who you were expecting him to so it depends on the overall composition. Like if you want uh, coarsely chopped uh, <laughs> vegetables, then it's none. That finely chopped vegetables, it's me. And well, cut, you do not require. I don't cut any vegetables. That's because you're making cake. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've been working with him for about a little over a year, and the first time that I heard his music and listened to his music, I thought. What is this music? I've uh, not heard anything like this before that incorporated so many beautiful um, elements of what, what I would say would be like Indian music, um, but also the way that he, he emotes with the guitar um, is something that, that really pulled me in. So at first it was a matter of, I just really want to work with this guy because I like the way that the music that he plays and then it became very intimidating because his pieces are 15 20 minutes long <laughs> so <laughs> you know I am Western classically trained so I am I am you know aware of classical pieces of music that take upwards to an hour to play but it's been a long time since I've been in that realm however I pushed through and uh, a, a new door was opened for me personally as a musician to be able to express in a new way on the piano, um, to learn some of the Indian scales, to be able to understand and, and, beat, patterns. and beat patterns, that yeah. seven beat pattern that always yeah. gets me. Um, <clears throat> but to be able to learn these things as, uh, as a completely, you know, brand new thing for me at, at my stage in life has been thrilling. Uh, one very interesting thing which I should talk about, um, there's a song called Intimacy. So apart from Melanie having issues with intimacy, <laughs> which, <laughs> 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 which 
uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, shit jokes aside, so that song "Intimacy" is uh, set in a seven-beat pattern, mm. and a seven-beat pattern is um, seen very differently in an Indian and Western context, mm-hmm. and that's something Melanie struggled with for the <laughs> longest time. It's true. Do you still struggle with it, or do? You? Uh, not on, not on intimacy at all. No. Not on intimacy at all. So you don't have issues with intimacy now <laughs> anymore. Uh, but coming back to that seven beat pattern, a couple of months back, Melanie sent me a video recording of of herself playing something on the piano, mm. and that was on a seven beat pattern. some friends that have heard the music that we've played that I've worked with in the States and um, every time they listen to this music they're very uh, amazed at how to play a song that's 15 minutes long completely from memory and uh, that is so complex and I, I really don't even know how it's done. Apart from just being uh, you know uh, experimenting on seven beats and some now nine beats have come in uh, 10 beats also, as it is there. Uh, 11, 12. Yes. Um, uh, but the thing is that what what I, th- I think uh, becomes a bit difficult, and for myself also when I, while I'm composing, that my compositions just does not stick to just a 7 because it will go to a 4 and 8, then yeah. suddenly come back to 7, then one just bar of 8, and then come, come back to 7. And that's exactly what is happening in all the diff- different numbers. But once you get the feel, uh, the thing is that the flow <coughs> of the composition, I don't think, then it becomes very easy. guitar will sound good with a piano. I had imagined probably some uh, other kinds of elements coming from a keyboard but not a piano piano. But the interpretation that Melanie has uh, come in with and uh, the, the beautiful, be- you know, how beautifully she has actually uh, used her skills to embellish these compositions is uh, something that I could never imagine and uh, I could never believe. But uh, it has been a complete pleasure to uh, work with Melanie and uh, on top of that I've, I've always enjoyed playing with uh, Nandit. He's extremely young but he has picked up like how. Uh, one good thing was that he has grown up with uh, listening to my music in Indian Ocean so probably he was a bit familiar about you know the kind of changes in the composition each composition that uh, comes in and uh, to incorporate a lot of Indianness to his playing. Uh, these kind of things uh, have uh, come pretty naturally to him. Uh, whereas with Melanie, it has taken her time to uh, get used to certain Indian um, uh, scales. Well, frankly speaking, when she does her Western classical pieces, and uh, it's very difficult for me to figure out, you know, when she's changing the scales and when she is going in from one chord to the other. And she does it absolutely effortlessly. So there's a lot of learning on my part that has to happen to take this forward. And uh, a, lo- a lot of learning has already happened and uh, there's no end to it. for bands earlier right yeah. so now now there are different kinds of band dynamics in different kinds of band setups 
So I want to know exactly how is it different out here as this trio? Oh, you're all asking the question. I'm asking the question. Okay. So uh, from the earlier bands hmm. to now. So what is the basic difference? Because I'm sure in the earlier bands also there were changes, there were uh, various other musicians and I'm sure they were extremely skilled musicians. So <coughs> what exactly is the difference be between playing here hmm. as a trio or as Chronicles? Um, and um, and the other bands that you have been associated with. The most basic difference I can think of is the age difference. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm the youngest in the band, <laughs> and that has never happened before. So <laughs> but on a on a much more serious note, um, yes, I have been a uh, I have played with other bands previously, but those cannot really compare with what I've played with these guys because when you're young and, we, and, and when you're playing with um, bands at a younger age you think about just playing it uh, <laughs> you, you, you just think about playing your music you don't really consciously think about dynamics you, you don't think mm. about musicality composition so, so many things there are to music which you don't think about so um, playing with Sushmit and Melanie taught me a lot of things about how to approach music musically, mm. if, if I may use the word musically. How this is different is that it's crazy. Um, <laughs> it's crazy because uh, because none that has spoken about how the music is very adaptable and that there can be a lot of different adaptations um, we can play as a, a band and rock out completely where everyone you know in the audience is jumping up and down and going crazy and there's a lot of energy and you feel that and you can take the same exact piece and you can turn it into something that is very lush and intimate and very beautiful and um, where you feel like you're in someone's living room playing and so uh, with the three of us or the two of us so that's that's something that's very unique The goal for me is for all of us to enjoy the music together mm. and that I think is going to lead to uh, it getting propagated to uh, many more different kinds of audiences across the world. So the future goal is to, to have that elevation, whether or not that brings <coughs> um, something beyond our wildest imagination, who knows, but, but for me anyway. The future goal is that I can look back on this project and be very proud that we have been a part of something beautiful.